Welcome back. Today I will be reading The Tower Climb by Claire Covington. I'll give you a moment to take your packet out. All right. Okay, let's go back to page 55 and read what our focus will be. We will continue learning about setting, just like we did yesterday. Okay. <clears throat> Identifying setting. Yes, you're right. Setting is when and where a story takes place. When you are reading or listening to a story, ask, when does the story take place? Where does the story take place? Think about the setting helps Thinking about the setting helps you understand the story. Excuse me. Okay, so let's talk about what we see on the front on this cover. I see things that look like buildings, almost. Did you notice that? These buildings don't look like the kinds of buildings we see now, right? They're a little bit different. Okay, so let's turn the page. Okay. Hmm, I wonder where they are. I wonder if these were buildings from long, long ago. I see two boys in the picture too. Okay, let's read and find out. Hugo looked all around. He saw walls, tunnels, and paths dug into the cliff. People had lived here long ago. Hugo and his dad loved exploring this place. Hugo crawled into a tunnel. The tunnel led him up and up. Hugo saw a ladder. It went almost straight up. Hugo climbed. Suddenly, Hugo felt the sun. He was in a high tower. Hugo heard a tiny sound. He saw a little animal. What is that? He asked. Oh, what is that? Yes, you're right. It looks like a spotted owl, said Dad. Hugo frowned. Look, the owl has a broken wing. Can we take it with us? We can get help at the bottom, his dad said. Yes. It's a long way down, Dad. How can I keep the owl safe? Dad said, Well, the people who lived here long ago carried babies on their back. They used flat boards or baskets, Hugo said. I know what to do. What do you think he'll do? Okay, well, let's find out. Hugo got his backpack. He put the owl inside. Stay safe, he whispered. How many of you guessed that he was going to do that? Good job. Then Hugo led the way down. He did not slip on the ladder. He did not bump the walls of the tunnel. He did not trip on the path. Hugo and his dad were at the bottom of the cliff. Hugo gently opened his backpack. The tiny owl was safe. Come on, little one. Let's fix that broken wing, Hugo said. That's the end of the story. Did you like that book? Did you like that story? I did too. Okay, let's go ahead and answer our questions now. Number one, where are Hugo and his dad in the first part of the story? Okay, so this question is asking us about the setting. Where were they at the beginning of the story? A, they were outside an old town. B, they were beside a long path. Or C, they were inside a big tunnel. Yes, A, they were outside an old town. Number two, where is Hugo when he feels the sun? Hugo is inside the tunnel. Hugo is on the ground. 
Hugo is up in the tower. Where was he? Hmm. I think I'm going to go back in the passage. Where was he? What do you think? Question number two. Yes, Hugo is up in the tower. Question number three. Why does the owl need Hugo's help? A, the owl is lost. B, the owl is hot. Or C, the owl is hurt. Correct, the owl is hurt. Where does Hugo need to take the owl? A, higher in the tower. B, back in the tunnel. Or C, down to the ground. Yes, down to the ground. Number five. What does Hugo do first on his way down? Mm -hmm. Is it A? Is it B? Or is it C? What does he do first when he goes down? You are correct, A. Number six. Why is Hugo careful as he comes down from the tower? A, he is worried about the hurt owl. B, he is worried about getting lost. Or C, he is worried about the ladder. Yes, he's worried about the hurt owl. And number seven. Where are Hugo and his dad now? Wait a second, I'm missing a page. Oh, I see. Okay. Where are, are they now? Here? Here. Yes. They are on the tower, they are on the ladder, or they are on the ground. Correct, they are on the ground now. And question eight, what happens at the beginning of the story? Yes, they climb up the ladder. Okay, friends, that's it for today. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.